All right, hi guys, Dane and Biggie here. Biggie, say hello. You gonna say hello? No, he's not. oh, he's saying hello. Hello, internet. I am a Biggie cat. Yes. Oh, oh, I like having fuss on me. Today, we're gonna be doing the A to Z book tag. So I saw this over on uh, Rogers Reads' channel. He did an LGBTQIA plus edition, which I will link to below, and. I don't know exactly what the rules are for this. I'm kind of taking it and running with it a bit. But, um, so for Roger's tag, he tried to do a book with each different letter of the alphabet. Now, for me, because my books are all alphabetized by author surname, the easiest thing to do was to do by author surname. So that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to go through each of the letters of the alphabet, and then at the end, I'm going to tag a few people to give this a go as well. One thing I will mention as well is that I kind of picked these out not necessarily as my favourite books for those letters, but as books that I wanted to mention. So some of these are ones that I haven't had a chance to talk about on BookTube before. I wanted to give you a nice sort of quirky little selection. I didn't want to just choose J.K. Rowling for R, for example. I mean, I think you've all heard of her. So unless it's a book that I really, really enjoyed and really do think you should get to... I don't know. Well, I have a lot of cho I'm just rambling now, so let's get let's get on with it. A is for Margaret Atwood, The Handmaid's Tale, my favorite book of the year so far. B is for Charles Bukowski, and this is Ham on Rye, so this is one of the books in which he kind of writes about his own childhood, I suppose. C is for Agatha Christie, and this is Death on the Nile, which is my favourite Agatha Christie book. And also I have it in this beautiful Crime Club edition as well. D is for Luke Davies, and this is Candy, a novel of love and addiction. It's basically about heroin, and this was made into a movie starring Heath Ledger and whoever that lady is there. Probably says on the back. Abby Cornish. There we go. Yeah. Good. Australian fiction for you. E is for Carrie Elwes, As You Wish, Inconceivable Tales from the Making of the Princess Bride, which is one of my favourite movies, and this was also my favourite book of Q2 this year. F is for Emmanuel Fombu, The Future of Healthcare, Humans and Machines Partnering for Better Outcomes. And this one I'm pimping because it's a client of mine. I actually helped him. I worked as the editor on this book, but I'm very proud of it as well. I think it's... Uh, pretty good book it's had a lot of nice reviews so far and if you're interested in like AI and stuff like that and how it's going to affect the way healthcare is delivered in the future check it out G is for Graham Greene and this is Travels with My Arn it's not necessarily my favorite of his books but it's one of my favorites of his books and I actually picked this up after talking to somebody in a bookshop so that was always good but uh, yeah, Graham Greene one of my favorite authors third most read author I think and uh, this one is just a hoot H is for Nick Hornby, and this is about a boy, again made into a movie. I read the book before seeing the movie, actually, and I'm, I must admit I enjoyed the book a lot more. This is my old copy of it that I read over and over again. But, um, yeah, a good book. Better than the movie. Check it out. It was probably the only Nick Hornby book that I actually really like. I is for Matthew Inman. How to tell if your cat is plotting to kill you. He won't. He's looking at me. Why are you looking at me? Don't kill me. J is for Michael Israel Jarvis, and this is Gravedigger. It actually has a new cover and new layout now. He's an indie author friend of mine. He's actually a friend of an ex girlfriend. So she kind of introduced me to his work. Red Gravedigger, absolutely loved it. It's just fantasy, but it's it's fantasy with a twist. So this is kind of spade and sorcery. So the main character is a grave digger and he doesn't use swords, he has a shovel, that's what he uses as his weapon. K is obviously for Stephen King and this is The Stand, probably my favourite Stephen King book. And uh, yeah, if you haven't read Stephen King before, read Stephen King. <laughs> a little fly just flew off that, that's how hot it is, isn't it? L is for Tao Lin, and this is You Are A Little Bit Happier Than I Am. I know here on Booktube, Mark Nash doesn't have the highest opinion of Tao Lin, but I like him. He's very experimental as a writer, and his poetry is great. And also, I guess, there is, uh, there's an emotional connection to this book as well, because I was introduced to it by somebody who's very special to me. 
Alright then, M is for Alexander Masters, A Life Discarded. And this book is really weird. So I actually went along to the launch for this. It's uh, Fourth Estate, which is an imprint of Harper Collins, I want to say. And, uh, let's see, does it say? Yeah, an imprint of Harper Collins. And basically, this is the, the, the true story of kind of what happened when one of his friends found a bunch of old diaries in a skip. And so they rescued these diaries and they gave it to Alexander Masters, this big sack of old diaries. And this book basically mixes together some of these diaries with his kind of quest to find out who the person was and, you know, how the diaries ended up in the skip. It's a very interesting book. I've never seen anything really like it. N is for Grant Naylor, which actually is Rob Grant and Doug Naylor, but it's the name they use when they're together. And they are the writers of Red Dwarf, which is like a cult sci-fi comedy TV, TV show. They did make a US pilot of it once, but the US pilot was crap, whereas the actual original is fantastic. And this is like the novelization of one of the episodes, kind of, a bit. You can't really compare the two because it goes into so much more detail and like a load of plot points happen in this that didn't happen in the episode. But the idea behind Better Than Life, it's like this virtual reality software in which everything you wish for comes true and it becomes a bit like a drug and you can't escape. Oh is for Barack Obama, Dreams From My Father. And this is the one that he wrote before kind of becoming president and becoming a politician and all that. P is for Philip Pullman, and this is the Ruby in the Smoke. This is the first in the Sally Lockhart series, which are all set in Victorian London. Pullman also wrote the His Dark Materials trilogy, which is my favorite trilogy ever. But I didn't want to just go, oh, Northern Lights, again, because I, I use that book in all of my tags. So I thought we'd go for the Ruby and the Smoke instead, which is a cracking book, definitely read. And it has a 16 year old female protagonist as well. But was published before YA was a thing. First published 1985, so yeah. Then we have Eric, uh, R is for Eric Marie Remarque, All Quiet on the Western Front, probably my all time favorite war book. This is about a group of German schoolboys in the First World War, they race off to war and things happen. And it has the distinction of being banned in Germany for being pro-Polish and banned in Poland for being pro-German. So I think that says a lot about this book. It kind of deals with it in a very fair way that just highlights the atrocities of war. And um, yeah, I, I think everyone should read this at some point in their lives. S is for Michael Paul Smith with Gail K. Ellison. And this is Elgin Park, visual memories of mid-century America at 124th scale. So basically this guy, he makes like a really detailed model village and it's kind of inspired on his uh, house that he grew up in. And then he takes photos of it. So for example, this here, that's at 124th scale. T is for Kushan Takami, Battle Royale. And if you've ever seen the movie Battle Royale, this is the novel that it's based on. I really like the movie, but the novel's even better. This translation of it is great as well. You even have a little map, I believe, of the, like the playing zone. Yeah, here we go. With the different references and stuff. It's just a, it's a guaranteed five out of five stars for me. It was amazing. Okay, then I don't have any U's. I have no authors beginning with U. So if you can think of any, let me know. And then I'll, I guess I'll try and get one of their books just so that I've got a U book. E is for Gary Vaynerchuk. Jab, 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 right hook. And this is How to Tell Your Story in a Noisy Social World. A beautiful hardback. I actually went to the launch party for this. And... Uh, I mean, it's possibly a little bit outdated now, but it was my first Gary Vaynerchuk book. I watch him on uh, YouTube quite a lot. He's uh, just a pretty, pretty cool dude, really. W is for Irvin Welsh, and I have here Marabou Stork Nightmares. This is actually my favourite of his books. It's basically this guy's in a coma, and this is all the mad stuff that goes through his head. Welsh, man, what can I say? Irvin Welsh, such a cracking writer. I think I've re enjoyed everything I've read of his. X... I do not have an X, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah. Y is for David Young, and this is Stassi Child, and this is an uncorrected proof I received, published by 27. It's basically, uh, it's like a murder mystery, but set in uh, East Germany during the, you know, the, you know, the division of Germany, and when it was a communist state and all that, and the uh, Stasi were there. So yeah, really recommend this book. It's really good. He's off. Biggie, you know I can just turn the camera around. You're still in the shot, right? And Zed. Zed is for Benjamin Zephaniah. And this is Face, 
This is by them. This is about uh, like a little sort of teenage gangster, or not even a gangster, like a bit of a hoodlum, a bit of a morongan, who is like joyriding, gets in a car accident, scars up all of his face, and then it's about him coming to terms with that and how society reacts and all this kind of stuff. And uh, that's the kind of thing that Zephaniah is really good at. He's good at writing for these like underrepresented, you know, working class youths. So yeah. There is my book A to Z tag. I'm going to quickly tag some people. So as usual, I'm going to see who has commented on my videos recently, and I'm going to tag those. So I'm going to tag Snow White and the Seven Shelves, Ghost Reader, Chrissy Books and Berries, Todd the Librarian, Weird Reads, Crying About Books, Cats and Camera, and Time for Books. So again, just do your best. If you can't if you're missing a letter, don't worry about it. Again, if you want to do it with titles, that's fine. If you want to do it with author first names, do as you will. And on that note, I'm running out of battery. So thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more. And I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.